welcome to a very special slow fashion video today. Um, I am releasing a necklace, a project that I've been working on for the past couple of months to you, to the world, <laughs> really. I've been working with Ana Luisa on this wonderful necklace that I'm wearing today. It is a co-creation, so I helped design this piece and it is ready to be purchased today. If you wanna go straight to seeing what it looks like on the website, um, I'm on there. So cool. I did some wonderful photos with a dear friend of mine, uh, Katarina from Boke View Photography. I will link that down below if you're interested in taking a peek. Uh, Ana Luisa is a company that I've worked with in the past. You've probably seen me wear their pieces and talk about them on the channel before. Uh, they're a fabulous Brooklyn-based uh, jewelry company that has a lot of the similar slow fashion and conscious values that I have. So I was really excited to work with them on this opportunity and I'm going to get to why why it was really important for me to take on this project, but first I will tell you all about this necklace, the details that you most likely want to know. As you can see, a very lovely kind of contemporary take on the heavier chains that are coming into style now. The chain is 16 inches, it is 100% recycled sterling silver, yes! As the base, I think this is fabulous. For me, having the base and the bulk of the material be recycled was really, really important. Um, and Ana Luisa made that happen, which is great. They actually do use a lot of recycled materials in their jewelry, so um, that made me really happy. But then you'll see that it's gold. So it's the 100% recycled sterling silver as the base and dipped in gold. What I like most about the design is that it is delicate enough to layer with other jewelry, but it's interesting enough to stand on its own and be worn on its own like I am with this turtleneck today. Another little detail that I really like is the minimalist clasp that also kind of serves as a little bit more interest. So you can wear it with the clasp at the front if you want something a little bit more detailed. It was made in a family owned and operated facility in Guangzhou, China, and the owners of which have known David, the owner of Ana Luisa, for many years. So there's a good supplier relationship there and a lot of trust. In addition to being consciously made and I think uh, timelessly designed if I do say so myself 10% of the sale of every necklace is going towards global mental health and I'm going to explain exactly which charity and why I chose it um, later on in the video the packaging that it comes in is going to be very low impact so it's entirely recyclable with the exception of the reusable uh, little mustard colored sachet the color which I chose personally like all Ana Luisa products this one is guaranteed for a year. There is free international shipping, which is really exciting because I know a lot of you are watching from around the globe. So you will find most of those product details uh, in the link below that I will put in the description box if you are interested in purchasing the necklace. And now we can get to the why. It's really important for me to explain to you why I took on this collaboration. First of all, I really believe in Ana Luisa as a jeweler, especially after speaking with the owner David. They really do have a their core a value of conscious consumption. But really for me, it was more of an opportunity to be able to give something physical and tangible back to you after growing this channel for almost uh, two years now and being gobsmacked by the incredible community that you are, really. So I thought it was really cool to get to share um, a different side of my style and my creativity with you. I also really wanted to do this project because this necklace is a way for me to give back. 10% of the sale of every one of these necklaces is going to go to Global Mental Health, a cause which is very, very near and dear to me. If you read my newsletter, then back in December, I mentioned that I had a little bit of a life plot twist um, that is leaving me in a lot of uncertainty over the next coming months. My immediate circle has been very impacted by mental health um, and myself as well. No matter how confident you are or how well or bad your life is going, mental health plays a huge part in our overall well-being and our ability to help others and help the planet. So I've chosen to contribute 10% of the sale of this necklace to the World Federation for Mental Health. Finally, having a hand in a product like this is a way for me to spread awareness that style and beauty can also be conscious and thoughtful. On to the how and the process. I've never designed or made anything from scratch uh, before. I'm a much better 
editor than I am like creator, which is probably why I focus more on styling clothes than making them. So what I did was I sent the team at Ana Luisa sort of a mood board of all the jewelry that I was really inspired by, that I would wear, that I really liked, pointing out elements that I thought were important to me and what I would really like to see. I also couldn't decide between earrings or a necklace because I really love to wear interesting earrings with a very simple basic outfit, but I thought necklaces were especially important now because we're seeing so many of these like vintage inspires chunky chain necklaces, which I really like, but I also find very trend focused. So I was interested in the idea of having a necklace that was a more fresh take on the vintage chain and something that would still be very timeless. The team at Ana Luisa, particularly Annie, the lead of design, she came back with a couple of options for both earrings and necklaces. And when I saw the original design for this style of necklace, I knew for sure that this was what I was looking for. So I was really happy to develop this idea. And then we went back and forth and made a couple of tweaks. Um, I received a sample so that I've been wearing it for the past few months. You've probably seen me wearing this in videos and on Instagram if you follow me there. Um, and I'm just so so pleased with the product and how it turned out and to finish off I'll share with you a couple of different ways how I've styled it because it really is a versatile necklace like I love how you can wear it with different necklines with different layered jewelry and all sorts of things so um, I'll finish off with that little mini lookbook featuring a necklace that I helped create I mean how cool is that of different ways and that maybe you get to share it with someone you love or pass it down to someone you love or just wear it for years to come because um, I think it's I think it's definitely a piece that you can wear for a long time. I know I'll be wearing mine for a long time. It's just such a special memory. Thank you so much for watching if you've watched this far and for supporting the channel um, you know whether you purchase this necklace or not I am just so so grateful to you and I'm so happy that I just get to share this with you. So if this is something that you do want to add to your jewelry collection, the link and everything is down below. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this little special edition. Have a wonderful start to your weekend and I will be back on Sunday with another slow fashion video. Ciao!